Hello everyone, it's Cassie Monique. Now I don't know if you watched my last video, but remember I was telling you that I got virgin Brazilian hair, I jumped on the bandwagon, blah blah blah, and I'll let you guys have a first look of the hair before I put the hair in. Well, the hair's been in for a week, and um, this is it. I got 16, 18, and 20 inches. This is how it looks in the back. I just wanted to tell you guys what I think of the hair. I want to see what you guys think of the hair and review it a little bit. So, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So, I showed you guys the hair. It looked good, bundled up. As soon as I stopped that video, I washed the hair, but I didn't take it out of the the bundles that it came in. I just washed it, you know, so it'd be easier. So I washed it. The hair felt nice and soft and everything as I was washing it. So I took the rubber bands off to open it up so it can air dry. I washed it with um, finesse shampoo and conditioner. I use it on my own hair. It's very moisturizing. So I wash the hair and I open it up and I noticed that the wefts had this weird like orange thread coming out of it. Like every bundle had something wrong with it. One bundle had the weird thread coming out. The wefts were really thick, which I don't like. I like them to be as small as possible because I don't like them. I don't like you to be able to see them coming through my hair. And then one of the bundles had a piece of material, green material. I've never seen anything like this before. Green material hanging out of the weft. And then the other had just a raggedy weft. And I'm like, what is going on with these wefts? I've never seen anything like this because I've been buying like really good quality hair for some years now because I like the way it lasts and you know pretty soon the hair will pay for itself but honestly I didn't have the money to buy that type of hair I just wanted my hair done and I've been watching all these videos on girls doing reviews of Brazilian hair Indian hair that they got from AliExpress and eBay and there were some pretty good results, so I decided to give it a shot, and it was a big mistake. So anyway, the wefts were all bad, and I noticed that the hair was frizzing up really badly. It was like all these different lengths of hair. It, it seemed like like whoever made it, you know, just added all these random pieces of hair to make the color because there was like gray pieces, there was um, like reddish pieces, brown pieces, and they were all different lengths just in the hair. So when I washed it and it dried, it all just went out like that. Crazy. The hair felt dry and, you know, I, I brushed the hair out a little bit before I put it in. So when I saw that, I contacted the seller and told the seller that, I'm not happy with the hair. I there's a lot of frizz coming out of it and I'm not sure if it's authentic and blah 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 and she basically told me, "Oh, this is the first complaint I've ever had. Um the hair should be fine. I don't know what products you use like you know, I used some products that damage the hair. First of all, I don't care what shampoo and conditioner that you use." It shouldn't make the hair do what it did. I like the hair I had before, like I didn't even do any, I mean I just washed it and put conditioner in early. I didn't have to do anything to it because it was good quality hair. So um, she recommended some Frizzies products and you know that was it. So, oh and she also said that since you washed the hair, I can't take the hair back. So basically, too bad, so sad, you know, you need to do what you can with it because I'm not giving you your money back. So 
I took it to my hairstylist and she looked at it and she said, yeah, it, it is pretty frizzy. This, this hair is low quality, but, you know, it's up to you. The, the hair doesn't look good to me. And so the lady said she would have taken it back. So I said, oh, maybe I can condition it and blah, blah. So I had her put the hair in. Biggest mistake. Biggest mistake ever. I got the hair in, and it looked okay once she did it, but I noticed that the hair was tangling up really, really badly. Um, the next day, very next day, and I'm just like so depressed, like, oh my goodness, this hair isn't going to last at all. Like, I felt like ripping the hair out right then, but I didn't want to do that because I paid to get it put in. So I washed it again. I put some, some Dove conditioner in there. And I let it sit in my hair for like over an hour. And I washed the hair out and, you know, it felt softer. And I put some flexi rods in it and um, wore it curly the next day. By 11 o'clock, my hair was like all bunched up, okay? It was frizz everywhere. It, okay, and frizz and tangled, and it just, it looked matted up. It was bunching up in the back. It was awful. So I took my hair and started trying to, you know, play with it and stuff and get it out. And it just wouldn't work. So I had to take a clip that I had in my car just to clip the hair up. So when I say tangly, let me show you what I mean, okay? Look at this. Do you see that? This hair is awful. This hair is not authentic. I've never had hair that did this in my life. Okay? And then look at the hair. I don't know if you can see this hair in the back. But it's just... I don't know if you can see it. But it's all just tangled up and bunched up in the back. I have to take a brush with me everywhere I go and I have to keep the hair I either keep the hair in a clip or I take a brush with me everywhere I go now watch this look at this I'm getting pissed off just brushing it it looks okay the way I have it right now but when I try to comb it and if I left it like this all day it'll start doing this this is what it'll start doing okay so I got very, very upset and I sent the seller another message saying everything that the hair was doing, again, I don't feel like it's authentic hair. I need a refund because there's no reason that I should spend $235 for this, okay? $235 of my hard earned money. I told her I'm not a scammer. I'm not the type of person to get a product and not want to pay for it. I love good quality products. I've been wearing weaves for a long time. I love weaves and this is not how it's supposed to be. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that, well, I mentioned in the other video that when I took the hair out, it smelled like beauty supply store hair. I was reading that that's a sign that it's not authentic hair. Because if it has a smell, that means it's processed. This is advertised as virgin Brazilian hair. And then when I washed the hair, it was all this dye or dirt coming out. I think it was dye because it was just a lot coming out. So that right there says that it's not virgin. So I told her all of that. And she's saying, oh, if the hair has been, the hair has been washed and it's been installed. I can't take the hair back blah 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 I'm sorry you know you, you need to, to do this do that go get some frizzies products put in your hair and shut the F up that's pretty much you saying you're not giving your money back sorry you know so basically telling me that I just gave $235 for nothing I can't even use it I paid to get my hair done I paid the $235 and this hair needs to come out. I cannot wear the hair down 
when it when I wear it curly, it just bunches. I haven't tried straightening it yet, but I don't even really want to waste my time. This hair is just in bad shape. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I feel very, very upset. I'm very unhappy because I really wanted my hair done. But you know what? I guess that's what I get. One thing my mother always told me, um, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you get what you pay for. And if something is too good to be true, it usually is. Mom, you are so right. I will never, ever, ever, ever purchase hair unless I can see it, I could feel it, and I could smell it. I could do all of those things because... I feel like I got scammed. I mean, the lady had really good communication. I don't know if she meant to do that because she has all positive feedback. And there's actually a video on YouTube and the girl satisfied. The hair looks fine. Her hair looks fine. But this, this is awful. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know what is wrong with my luck. You know, I... Why did this happen to me? I'm a good person. I go to work. You know, I take care of my business. I just wanted some hair and I don't want to pay that much money for it. But you know what? I'm going to go crawling back to the place that I used to go to. And for $235, I would have got one bundle from this place that I go to. But you know what? The hair that I've, I've had, I got from them. I've been wearing for three years. And the hair does not do this. Even after three years, it is not doing this. The hair is just a little dry, but it's not doing this. This this is not authentic hair. And what I think I'm going to do, even though I put the hair in, um, I'm going to go after my money. I am going to do a PayPal dispute, and I am going to try to get my money back. Because this product is not as advertised so I'm gonna put this person's link below just so you guys could check it out and see it for yourself I do not recommend ordering this hair in the least I do not recommend it I don't want you to have the same results that I did I now I can't do my virgin Brazilian updates and virgin Brazilian curly hair and you know all the little updates and all the little fun videos all the girls do I can't even do that because, you know, it would be fake. It would be fake. And it's a shame that, you know, people over the Internet, they, they take your money, and you would think you would want to make your customers happy. You would take it back, give them their money back, or exchange the product. No, you already wore it. You already installed it. You already washed it. I'm not giving you your money back. That's just too bad. You just lost $235. That shouldn't happen. That's not right. So, this is the final review of the virgin Brazilian hair. That's not virgin. That's fake. That's horse hair. I don't know what the heck it is. But that's it. There isn't going to be any more virgin Brazilian reviews from me. Because I am going back to Indian hair. I am going back to expensive hair. So I don't have to deal with stuff like this anymore. If you guys have any suggestions of what I can do to this hair to make it last at least six weeks, then, you know, leave the comments below. Tell me, guys, I mean, tell me what you guys think, you know. It actually might help me because, you know, I, I don't, I just, I can't go far with this. This isn't going to last long at all. In fact... I should just snatch this stuff out. It's, it's just such a waste of money. I wasted so much money, guys. Please be careful with eBay. Be careful. Just do your research. I'm not saying that people don't have good hair products and good, you know, virgin Brazilian hair, Indian hair, Remy hair, whatever you call it. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist online. But really, just be careful. Because you might be in a situation like me. Well, you won't get your money back if you're not satisfied. So, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. 
And, of course, I'll see you next time. Bye.